Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Nicola Sturgeon must be absolutely terrified. Either that, or totally ashamed and embarrassed. They're the only options available, I suspect. It could be, of course, a mixture of both. But she is not attending Holyrood, or at least she is, but not in person, only remotely. This is wrong. That woman is still an MSP, is still drawing the salary of an MSP. And with all that's going on, she should be forced to attend, forced to stand there in the chamber and take questions, not only from the opposition, but from her own side as well. She should be forced to explain everything that's what happened and to explain why she said and done the things she had. She's got to be forced to tell the truth. And that's, of course, is the last thing she ever wants to do, which is why she's staying away. Because when she's viewing remotely via Zoom or whatever software that they're using, she can sit there, she can chip in, she can observe what's happening. But she is not being held to account. She is not being forced to explain anything. This is wrong. Whoever made the decision to allow this woman to attend remotely needs to explain why. If she doesn't want to be there in that in that parliament building, she needs to resign with immediate effect. And the fact that she isn't shows she's just in it for the money. She should not be allowed to, retend, to attend remotely. Stand there in front of the opposition and in front of your former colleagues and answer the questions answer everything they ask from all sides of the house and totally explain yourself. To do anything else shows you to be a craven, two-faced, hypocritical little... I'm going to not say the word because I like being on YouTube. But that's all she is. She's nasty, scurrilous, full of cant, full of vile, full of hate. And now she's been caught out and she's got nowhere to hide. And so rather than come and face the music, that's exactly what she does. She hides away like a crawling insect. You know, when you pick up a bit of wood and you see those things scuttle away out of the sunlight, ducking for cover, trying to get into further, you know, into the darkness where they're safe. And that, I'm afraid, is all Nicola Sturgeon is. She's a scuttling little beetle. Anyway, let's have a look at this article uh, and see what's going on and why she's been allowed to remotely attend. So Nicola Sturgeon to attend Parliament virtually and participate remotely amid SNP probe. Nicola Sturgeon will not return to the Scottish Parliament this week and will take part in proceedings virtually after police raided her home and arrested her, arrested her husband earlier this month as part of the probe into the SNP's finances. The former First Minister has claimed the decision was made in advance to avoid overshadowing successor Hamza Yousaf. Bullshit. The, f the decision was made because she knew it was coming and knew full well that she could not stand there in the glaze of public scrutiny after, uh, answering these questions that would be undoubtedly fired at her from all sides because she is craven. She is frit. She knows the game is up. Um, and she must be very, very worried about the amount of jail time she's possibly facing. Uh, opposition members accusing Miss Sturgeon of attempting to avoid scrutiny following the arrest of Peter Murrell, who was quizzed by police for almost 12 hours over the party funds. Officers also searched the home of Murrell and Sturgeon, as well as the party's HQ in Edinburgh, before Mr Murrell was released. It has now been revealed that the former First Minister will participate in the Scottish Parliament's events virtually and will not attend Holyrood in person amid calls from opposition parties for the new leader Hamza Yousaf to suspend her after leaked footage showed her urging the party's ruling body to be very careful about suggesting it had financial problems. She was telling them never ask the questions, admit nothing, uh, do not let people know that they are almost bankrupt and that there's problems with the party's finances because they're still trying to get money out of backers uh, and, the, and the failure of that, that alone, to convince people that you, they have confidence in the, the accounts of the party and so they you know, feel free to invest money to, you know, to give their sponsorship because the party is doing fine. That is fraud. That's what that is. Never mind anything else. That woman should be arrested 
and prosecuted for fraud. Her spokesman told the Scottish Sun to ensure the focus of this week is on the new First Minister setting out his priorities for the people of Scotland. Ms Sturgeon has always intended to participate remotely and intends to return to Holyrood in the near future. Bullshit. The, the whole point of this in advance was to make sure she didn't have to face the music. She didn't get any chance or didn't let any chance of scrutiny to land upon her. She did not want anyone to question her because she knew full well what was coming. Uh, they've admitted it. The police admitted this by their lack of denial uh, when asked if there was political uh, persuasion over the decision uh, for the timing of all this. Uh, and the uh, chief constable said nothing. Uh, that is his way of saying yes. Because if he'd have said, no, there isn't, and it later comes out that, yes, there was, he would have to resign immediately for lying. Uh, so he did the best he did, he could, which was to not answer the question. And failing to answer means an answer in the, uh, you know, the opposite to what he says. So his, uh, his answer is yes, there was definitely political uh, influence there, which means she knew about it, which is why she's arranged for this. Bullshit answer that it's oh to make comes of the centre of attention. No, it's so that you can scuttle off into the darkness and hide your shame and ignominy. Uh, Scottish Labour Deputy Leader Jackie Bailey said she might uh, try as she might to avoid the spotlight. It is clear that the former First Minister is at the heart of chaos engulfing the SNP. The failures and secrecy of the Sturgeon era are overshadowing Hamza Yousaf. Nicola Sturgeon has a responsibility to represent her constituents in Parliament, regardless of the scrutiny she is under. Effectively, her constituents have got no MSP because there's no one standing in that Parliament talking for them. They need a recall election and throw her out. Don't even let her have the dignity of, re of a resignation. Have a vote and vote her out. Vote her out massively. Get zero votes. Show her how rejected she is because she is an odious little shart of a woman who is basically shafting Scotland now as much as she shafted it for the last 15, 16 years now of SNP government. Uh, leaked footage published this week, which I did a video yesterday, if you remember, uh, with the Sunday Mail showed Nicola Sturgeon discussing finances at an NEC meeting, playing down worries about the party's fi lying, lying about the party's finances. But uh, that's both of them are now proven liars. She said, just be very careful about suggestions that there are problems with the party's finances because we depend on donors to donate. That line, that line is what will do her in a court. That is the line that proves fraud. Uh, there are no reasons for people to be concerned about the party finances, she lied. And all of us need to be careful about not suggesting that there is. She's not denying that there's problems. She's lying about the problems. And then she's telling people not to suggest that there are because they need people to believe that they're OK uh, and that uh, they can carry on donating quite, you know, quite happily. But it's the bigger worrying picture as well that they can't run their own party's finances and yet they're entrusted with the nations. Ian Blackford put down a pudding bowl long enough to dismiss reports saying that Nicola Sturgeon planned to step down as an MSP sooner rather than later. Telling the BBC, I think what you've seen is idle speculation, which is taking place. Well, he'd recognise idle, that's for sure. Uh, but as for speculation, it's hardly that. There's no way Nicola Sturgeon is going to be in place until the next election, uh, unless it's a, a recall election by her own constituents uh, anytime soon. Uh, but there is... There's no way she's laugh uh, She's staying. So Blackford is a moron if he thinks he is. But then we all know exactly the kind of moron he is. Uh, he said, I speak to my colleague Nicola on a very regular basis. Oh, it's colleague. We're not friend. Colleague. He's already distancing himself. He used to call her friend, you know. Do you remember those days? Hmm. Not anymore. Uh, anyway, he says he speaks on a regular basis. He says, and I can tell you that she's focused on serving the interests of her constituents. He lied. Because if they, she was that concerned, she'd be in that building. And she's not because she dare not show her face. She is massively ashamed and knows what she's done. Um, asking if she was proving to be a distraction, Mr Blackford rejected the idea, again showing how out of touch he is with how interested people are in the goings-on of the Sturgeon and Murrell uh, affair. 
Uh, he says, I think history will judge all of us and history, I think, will show a woman that's led our country and led us through the COVID pandemic that has given inspiring leadership to all of us over the course of that period and that she's been in leadership. My God, he's got some spinning there. He hasn't actually said that she's done anything good, just that she was leader. Yes, and caused a lot of the problems with the pandemic. Oh, let's put these on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Just to be different. Just to go that inch further than England, uh, even though it caused massive damage. And half the shit she was doing proved ineffectual anyway. But then she's not very bright. She's very politically astute, but she's not very clever. Um, Scottish Conservative Chairman Craig Hoy said the timing of Miss Sturgeon's claims months before police invested, uh, the launched the investigation was frankly astonishing. Um, but, uh, you know, she does need to face up to scrutiny. She needs to be there. She needs to answer questions. And it's who allowed her to uh, to answer, to get away, basically, with non, non-attendance, doing her work from home. And also that, I'm just going to a little aside on this. I don't know if you all saw that, where she came out and did a meet the greet. I think it was uh, about a week, just over a week ago. She did a meet and greet with the press. That left hand was in there, in that pocket the whole time. It looked very, very awkward. It looked fo- so false. Everyone was speculating why didn't she take her hand out because she's not wearing a ring anymore because the ring's off. Uh, and it, nobody, nobody walks the way she walked. Uh, you know, if she was going to cover that up, a pair of gloves would have, a pair of gloves would have done it, or just put the bloody ring on for five minutes if you're that concerned. But the way you did that, you look like you know. It it was just like everything else, like everything else about that woman. It was fake, false, and faux. She is just awful. She couldn't, honestly, she can't tell the truth to save her life. And everything about her, you see a smile on her face, but it's only on the lips. There's no smile in the eyes. She is an utterly joyless woman who's never really smiled in the eyes. Anyway, she's done, but she needs to be at that parliament. And they need to say, if you don't go, you don't get paid, love. I'll tell you then, the greedy wee shagger there. She would be down that parliament quick as you like. The thought of losing 60 odd thousand a year, not a chance on earth. Anyway, I'm going to finish here and come up. She is an utterly craven woman. She knows that if she sets one foot in that building, she will be interrogated completely by her own side as much as by the opposition. She is so scared of that. She's so she's so scared of the truth coming out because she knows how damaging the truth will be. But she is a squirming, writhing insect that needs to be questioned. They need whoever whoever has arranged for this, you know, this uh, sort of attendance by Zoom needs to justify it. And if they cannot justify it, then Sturgeon needs to make her way to Holyrood, or she doesn't get paid, or at the very least, uh, she resigns. I don't want her to resign. I want her voted out of office, but at the very least, resign. Uh, so we, you know, the police can then just get in and thoroughly investigate and that claim that claim about oh don't ask questions about the finances we've got people to uh, you know we want we want to get this money and we need people to think our finances are fine so we can still take money from them that needs to be investigated as a fraudulent you know a crime a crime of fraud separate from everything else never mind what's going on in the political sphere that is just blatant criminal behavior and that needs to be investigated and she needs to be prosecuted and jailed just for that, before they even look into anything else. I'd like to see her sitting in a jail cell in a prison. Bar Linney would be better than uh, Colton Vale. Uh, she can pretend to be a man, you know, go to Bar Linney. And um, yeah, it would just be it would just be the icing, icing on the cake. Anyway, I, I just can't stand this, this odious little shard of a woman. Uh, so I hope she gets everything that's coming to her. The damage is caused. Anyway. I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Leave a like, leave a comment, share the video, and until next time, stay safe, stay well. Always make sure whoever you vote for turns up for their day job, and goodbye.